This is the day of the largest walkthrough video we have ever produced. My team and I have flown to Antigua in the Caribbean to get the best possible shots. This is the day everything has to be right. Today is the day I'll show you the 72 meter super yacht solo. From a beach club so refined and well equipped, it really does constitute a club area on board the yacht, to an interior layout that is 100% custom built and, as a result, totally unique. Deck space that is as elegant and sophisticated as it is useful and varied and an armada of tenders and toys that will leave guests on board breathless, excited, and totally appreciative of the gourmet cuisine that this super yacht can deliver. Now this yacht is available for sale, and in fact this video has been commissioned to present to potential buyers. So I'd like to give you a taste of what those potential buyers will see when they come to visit her. Now, it would be impossible to talk about Solo without also mentioning that she's a very successful charter yacht. So as we look at some of the features that differentiate her from other yachts on the market, I'll also be showing you what life is like for her guests on board. The design of any yacht is of course the first thing that draws people to her. And to my eye, Solo is beautiful outside and inside. Francesco Paskowski is one of yachting's most esteemed designers, and within his firm, he has an interior designer called Margarita Casprini, who poured her soul into the creation of an elegant ambience of exquisite taste. Unusually, the main deck lounge can be entered from either side of the yacht, rather than through large sliding doors leading out to the aft deck. And this unusual choice for the layout allowed the creation of what they call a winter garden. That is, effectively, a cosy seating area, offering a wonderful vantage point of both the main lounge and also the surrounding seascape. Casprini has kept a uniformity of design throughout the yacht, whilst at the same time allowing each area to have its own identity. This main deck is wonderfully intimate, whilst the next deck up has a brighter, almost playful feel to it. When we look at the outside deck spaces on Solo in a moment, you'll see why I believe that this is the deck that guests will spend most of their time on. But before we move up another level, take a moment to appreciate some of the wonderful design features that adorn this area. The next deck up is known as the owner's deck. That's right, the owner has an entire deck dedicated to him or her, and it's really worth taking a look at. The master stateroom is situated forward of this deck, and by locating it here, I believe that whoever does buy this yacht will really feel like the owner, waking up in the morning from this high position, affording incomparable views of the surroundings that on a day like today in Carlisle Bay is just breathtaking. Forward of the stateroom is a private terrace with what I think I would call an infinity jacuzzi tub. Such a wonderful design feature that I believe anybody would love to try out. 
As you would imagine, there is a host of wardrobe space, as well as a small private office, a changing room. And I'm not going to say a word about the master bathroom since sometimes it's better just to shut up and let the pictures do the talking. There's also an elevator to the owner's deck. In fact, it runs through three of the yacht's six decks. But there's an easier way to get to the owner's deck if you really want to. And I'm gonna show that to you now. When the Tankoa shipyard built Solo, they constructed this area for use as a touch and go helipad. Now, while the yacht is on charter, it's used more for a relaxation sunbathing area but you can imagine arriving in your helicopter, walking straight to the master stateroom, maybe to take a shower before lunch, or why not take a plunge in the pool first. The deck space on Solo is one of her absolute standout features. I said earlier that the upper deck is where guests on board are likely to spend most of the time. Now, let me show you why. In truth, it's not just the outside deck space that is appealing in this area, but rather where that the inside and the outside unite so seamlessly when the sliding doors are open. Imagine, if you can, entertaining friends on board solo with a pianist playing some great melodies, a cocktail waiter behind the bar serving amazing beverages whilst your friends and family relax and chatter together in excited anticipation of what the chef is preparing below. And let me tell you, with a galley as well equipped as that on Solo, and of course a talented and trained chef at your disposition, there are no limits to the culinary delights that will take your senses to stratospheric levels of euphoria. I know, because the incredibly hospitable crew on board the yacht made sure that my camera crew and I, along with Nicholas Fry, the charter manager, were looked after in unforgettable style. Below deck and in the transom is the most astonishing beach club. Now, with a yacht of this size, a beach club is not just a cubby hole that opens up to the sea. This is a real club area featuring a lounge and a bar that is a remarkable blend of sophistication and somehow relaxation at the same time. And just off of the bar and lounge area is a very stylish gymnasium area furnished with techno gym equipment, and of course, an opening side terrace so that you can enjoy fresh air and beautiful sunshine as you run on the treadmill, raise your heartbeat on the cycling machine, or just pump iron to tone your physique. I really do need to start going to the gym again, but there's something about Solo that's like a whisper in your ear urging you to relax and to take it easy. I think that after a short workout in the gym, I would have to choose between the bright and spacious steam room and the cozy private sauna. And after relaxing those weary muscles in a hot sauna, there's really only one way to cool down. And 
really isn't this why people enjoy yachts of any size at all? To be on the water and to be in the water, cooling down and falling around, just relaxing and having fun. Of course, the bigger the yacht, the more water toys you can choose from. And Solo has a veritable armada of tenders and toys available, including three sea bobs and three wave runners, jet surfs, a trampoline, a floating pool, paddle boards, kayaks, diving gear, water skis, a wakeboard, and of course, a six-person towable banana that you can enjoy even in an unexpected rainfall as happens from time to time in the Caribbean. It shouldn't surprise me that the largest yacht we've ever filmed has the largest selection of water toys, more cabins, more features, more amenities. But what does surprise me is that she was launched in 2018. Now to find a yacht as large as that and as new as that available for sale is a very rare thing indeed. Added to that, she has a wonderful charter reputation. And after today, I can see why. <laughs>